With 5G networks now up and running around the world and operators moving beyond an upgrade of their radio access networks, the need for next generation network management systems that enable automated processes is becoming critical. I'm talking today with Rolf Eberhardt, Head of Orchestration at the Communications Technology Group of Hewlett Packard Enterprise about the company's developments in this very important area. So Rolf, HPE has a new launch focused on the automation of 5G networks and services. Can you tell us more about that? Sure, Ray. We have two elements which are being newly introduced. First thing is service orchestration for the 5G part. And the second element is the automated assurance for 5G as well. Both of these elements are centered around automation itself. There's a third part, which was already introduced earlier onwards, which is our resource aggregator for open distributed infrastructure management. Came in uh, earlier, earlier this year already. All three elements focus on making operations easier in a 5G environment. So this is a combination of orchestration and assurance capabilities. Uh, can you tell us more about HPE Service Director, the orchestration element, and what this enables for 5G service providers? Yeah, uh, Service Director is a well-known piece of software. It's, it's broadly used in the market, and it's a, it's a very flexible orchestration tool with the ability to be uh, configured to fit to fit multiple different use cases. One of these use cases is 5G. And uh, 5G as such is a bit, bit more different than others because it is a, an extremely broad and complex networking technology which, uh, requires, which requires a lot of business logic to be available within the orchestrator. And so Service Director 5G has been built with a couple of, of key elements in mind. First of all, it's obviously around slice management, end-to-end -end slice management, and then uh, managing subnetworks all the way down to the various, to the various uh, uh, subnetwork management functions. Then another really important element is the slice design part of it. Uh, there is in the standards no proper way of describing slice design. And so what, we've, what we're using is we're using the intent-based technology, which we have in Service Director, to create machine-readable specifications of slices, so of the behavior of a slice. And this makes, this makes the system very extendable, allowing you to, to take a, a slice definition and then expand it to fit your network architecture as well as your slice behavior, which uh, your marketing people would have been defined. Then there's multi-vendor, obviously, and also integration with third parties, be it towards TM Forum or be it towards other 3GPP components. Last but not least, and one thing which has to be taken into account is Etsy Mano integration. Um, that's ob obviously key because in 3GPP, we are going to be having an extremely complex and distributed uh, infrastructure environment, which needs to be managed also in a zero touch way. Okay, excellent. Uh, and what about the assurance element? Uh, this sounds like a significant development in terms of automated assurance for 5G. Uh, what are the details here? So um, we're looking at assurance in a, in a holistic end-to-end -end fashion. And that's, that's what automated assurance is really about. Um, starting off with the collection and persistence, so the ability to collect not just event information, but any kind of observability information and bringing it back into, into, a, proper, into a proper information store so that you can then do KPI analysis based on telemetry, based on probes, based on whatever kind of flow you may be needing. Then comes the interesting part, which is the AI ML uh, element around it. Um, analytics used to looking into that data to identify uh, anomalies, uh, detecting them, verifying how important they are for the actual operation scenario. And then in a third set, in a third step, pushing these back out to uh, surrounding systems for, resid uh, for correction and, and uh, improvement in case of, uh, 
of a, deter um, a deteriorating uh, situation in the network. Now, as I understand it, the orchestration and assurance elements can work together in what's known in the industry as a closed loop. Uh, could you articulate further what this means and talk about the benefits to network operators of such a combination? There are two elements to the closed loop. The first part is the inbound information being brought into assurance. This means on one hand, the metrics information or anything related to observability, but in parallel also the all the information related to services and networks which have been designed and brought into the system. So orchestration has to inform assurance what has been happening, new, new onboardings, new designs, new instantiations, etc. Then you do the all the beauty of analytics and ML around it, and then you obviously get the resulting anomalies, which you then feed back as a, as an output into the into the orchestrator again, upon which policies uh, described within the service model of the orchestrator kick in, and would then do either a correction or an improvement or a, a remediation of a situation in the operations environment, and that's what closed loop is all about: bringing assurance and orchestration together into a proper interlock. Now, it seems like HPE has been aligning to standards from the 3GPP and Etsy in designing its 5G automation capabilities and even pre-building them into its 5G core stack. Is that correct? Yes, yes. We are, um, we are building upon the 3GPP standards. So um, the orchestrator uh, lives uh, the NRM model, which is the network resource model of 3GPP, it's completely based on it, and it and it supports also the extendability of the NRM model. Uh, HP is also actively contributing into into the 3GPP standards community, and uh, likewise on the assurance side, we're we're taking the KPIs defined by the standards and using them as a as a starting point for the analytics and the machine and machine learning functions which we're using in our system. Last but not least, we're also heavily involved in everything related to the Etsy Mano part. Um, you may be aware that Etsy Mano or NFE is uh, completely standardized on the VNF side and with container-based functions, we're doing now the same thing together with, uh, with uh, customer partners. And we've been doing major implementations with selected with selected customers, such as, for example, Verizon, on large-scale container-based deployments. And there, as standardization is also in the in the making, and we and we follow what's going on there very intensively because it's absolutely key for 3GPP. Great, uh, thanks, Rolf. Um, so to conclude, uh, can you tell us why your network operator customers are keen to get their hands on HPE's new 5G automation offering? Well, the HP Service Director 5G orchestrates complex infrastructures and services in a simple codeless manner following 3GPP standards. It's, um, it's proven. It's complemented um, with Etsy standard resource orchestration down to the uh, CNF and uh, VNF uh, level, and and it's and it supports cutting edge new software technology such as intent based orchestration. On the automated assurance side, we have an environment which allows telcos to automate the detection, the prediction, and the remediation of five G networking issues, and. It's not just this this collection of information, but actually the ability to take all this information and bring it back into a closed loop in a data driven manner and then combine it back into the into the orchestration environment around it, which creates an extremely attractive offering to an operations environment. Well, those are all absolutely critical capabilities for any 5G network operator. Uh, Rolf, it's been a pleasure as always talking with you. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you, Ray.